Good morning. This time, um, other than using him in Cantankerous Clanker, I don't think I've ever actually used him. Um, he is a pilot though, and he's got a great ship, uh, the U-Wing. So I've got my Scarif up to, what, seven star, level seven, level 52. So he'll need to go up as well. But... Yeah, yeah, I love it when you... Really? Slide along. Right. Wallop. This bit hurts. And that's now him at level 85. I didn't even clock the power beforehand. 4342 now. 12229. Right. So... Um, I'm not sure how far I can actually... Really? Oh, it's going to be a pain. I know you can, I'm going to need them somewhere along the way. Just letting you know that. Up to gear level 5. Nothing adding speed so far. Thank you. Six speed. I didn't look at his stats. I will. Three speed. So, uh, with the mods in place, I think they're more storage than anything else. I had a quick book, Shazam. They ain't that great. Um, but currently, 5939 on his health, 1903 on the protection. 157 on speed, 61 potency, wow, 802 physical damage, yeah, I'm rattling these numbers off, I'm not going to remember them all, but right, but we keep going on this, I'll just come into here and do six, two, is that all? You know what, let's do another six and hopefully get, there we are. Right. Mark five, okay. Ouch, I ain't got many of these. Oh, this is going to prove the pop. That is going to prove the problem, isn't it? Two speed added on. And six speed added on. So, jumped up a bit. We've going to gear seven, seven seventy six fifteen on the hell, forty six ninety nine on the protection. Now 171 on the speed, 1,054 physical damage, 962 special, 1175 I think I saw there for resistance. Oh dear. Told you I'd need those. Alright, I'm looking at the cheaper ones first of all. So deploying all of those, um, 9,798 health, 8,892 protection, 173 on his speed, 
So we've gone through all of those. Um, <coughs> so the last time I looked at the ship, it was 12.2229 or two, how, yeah. It was 12, a load of twos and a nine. 111 speed on there so far. I'm just curious as to what all the, the gearing ups and stuff does. So let's upgrade. Do I? I'll craft and pop that one on. Right, we'll have to wait. Mm. It's all expensive stuff. Until I can do that, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna actually leave him stranded on gear level nine. Um, I don't think that piece of gear made any difference. I mean, the only difference I'm really looking at is the speed, to be honest. But popping that those few bits on there didn't make a huge amount of difference. However, this part might. So power at the moment, 7122, 9880 health, 13,000 protection, 173 speed. Looks like his potency is up to 78% now. 1344 on his fizz damage, 1042 on his special, 1176 on his resistance. So, so there you go. Health jumped 10,000. Well by 2,000 there. The other stats have increased a little bit. The one I'm really interested in is whether the ship gained. So the ship gained one speed. So let's go back and bang on another star. I'm just going straight to the ship here. No speed increase. Health now. Is so I seem to be getting like 2,000 additional health on each on each star. Wow. Almost couldn't say that word then. Gained another speed. Not quite two thousand, then, is it? So 14,000 on the health, 1937 now on his physical damage, 1588 on his special. Resistance is creeping up as well, 1449. And shipwise puts it up to 114. So it, it, it again gained another speed. Um, wrong thing, I want to be on here. So that's him up to seven stars, 15,000 health, 13,000 protection, 173 on the speed, and play around with that, 2082 on his physical damage, 1738 on his special, 1517 on his resistance, and we've still got a couple of gear stages to go as well. Um, so the other bit I normally do and should do is find out what he actually does. Deal physical damage to target enemy with a 55% chance to inflict damage over time for three turns. Uh, 
and the Amiga just adds 15% damage. Frenzy. <coughs> oh, this is long-winded. Bistan gains Frenzy for two turns, and all other allies gain 10% turn meter. Frenzy. Whenever another ally uses a special ability, this unit gains 100% turn meter. on there so this is where it ends for me at the moment so Bistan gains frenzy for three turns and all other allies gain 20% turn meter frenzy whenever another ally uses a special ability this unit gains 100% turn meter deal physical damage to target enemy and remove turn meter equal to Bistan's post potency okay and he's quite a potent guy as well isn't he see that Omega worthwhile isn't it cool down reduced reduction by one Bistan gains 7% potency for each rebel ally and each debuffed enemy Yay, I can actually say the one is maxed. <laughs> okay, so um, that's Bistan now up to level 85, abilities and attacks 7, and gear level 9. For him, his stats are here. They haven't changed just by applying the abilities. Um, yeah, those numbers have remained the same. What we'll do is have a quick look at the ship now. So the ship's gone up now to 119 speed. It was 111, I believe, when I started gearing up this time. Um, but what we will do here is, let's have a look at the abilities here. Inflict target lock on enemy for two turns. This effect can't be resisted. Bistan's U-Wing gains stealth for two turns with a 50% chance to also gain 17% turn meter. Those will increase. Um, but what I do need to do is actually put... Wow, so that's 21,000 power on a three-star level one ship. So, didn't add much total power there, did it? Didn't touch speed either. I'm sorry, I'll just scroll through those quite quickly. But that's taking him up to level 85. That did add speed, so we had one extra speed added. <coughs> Sorry, let me have a slip of coffee. Bear with me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, stats wise here, added an extra two speed. Sorry, there are all the stats, so I'm sorry, I'm scrolling through them quickly. Um, I yeah, I realise this has been uh, an extended gearing up. Yep, I did more speed, up to 124 now. It's quite a slow ship, is it? Or is it just that the tunes need gearing and whatnot? So that is now a seven star U-Wing. Speed is now up to 128. I should put little markers on the recording, shouldn't I? Right, here's where this happens and this happens. 
So whenever an ally scores, scores a finishing blow, that ally gains um, turn meter. If that ally is a rebel, Bistan's U-Wing also gains that much turn meter. And that much turn meter is 19%. Deal physical damage to the target enemy. If Bistan's U-Wing is stealthed, this attack can't be evaded and ignores the target's defense. Target lock. Inflict tenacity down for two turns. This is kind of in preparation for territory battles and the fact that we can only use light side. Um... I focused nearly everything onto the dark side, so roll on dark territory battles for me. Um, but for now, yeah, I'm just looking and thinking, okay, how can I enhance? What can I do? Bistan was a character I hadn't done yet. And he's a pilot, so it's like, well, ships might be involved. Deal physical damage to target enemy. If Bistan's U-Wing is stealth, this attack can't be evaded and ignores target's defense. Battery is getting low. That tells me I've been waffling far too long. Target lock. Inflict tenacity down for two turns. All right. We can also bang on a couple of these. Inflict target lock on enemy for two turns. This effect can't be resisted. Bistan's U-Wing gains stealth for two turns with a 50% chance to also gain 20% turn meter. That's all going to change now because we're going to run through. Oh, I see. That's why people put the Omega on there. Okay, so I can't reduce the cooldown until I get into gear level 10. Um, and I need some bits to do that. And I will just pop a couple. Oh, right, we get quicker. Scarif needs sorting out. Yes. Okay, um, that's as far as I can go with the ship at the moment. So total power, 32,000. Exactly. Magic gun. I like the uh, the evenness of that those numbers there. Um, Fifty thousand health, twenty three thousand protection, one hundred and twenty eight speed, twenty five percent potency, forty percent tenacity, eight thousand two hundred and sixty five on his physical damage. So that's it. Um, Spinny around. Bistan's U-Wing and Bistan brought into play. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you have great days. Bye for now. Oh, you know what? No, sod it. Let's just... Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. But yeah, let's just... I'm curious. I don't think... I think I've just chucked all the gear onto Bistan. So I don't think I can actually take him up to the next level. Well, what am I needing here? Alright, so this is where my Scarif is at the moment with what he's got on him. 20,000 health. 6,700 protection, 1490, 1485, wow, it's not often that special damage and basic damage are that even, um, but we can get him up to gear level 8. And that's where the gaps then appear. Okay, that's as far as I can get him on that. Um, what's that impact there? So that's wow. So that's increased because the total power was 32 exactly. Now it's increased, 54,000 health, 25,000 protection, 131 now on the speed. And I 
can pop another ability onto there, which is worth it because it's an extra speed. So unfortunately, my Scarif needs to. Uh, oh, let's do the. Actually, we'll see whether these have any impact on the ship as well. Oh, I'm sorry, this is such a long gearing up. But there's two pilots on that ship. So where are we here? Deal physical damage to target enemy with a 70% chance to gain a fence up for two turns. All, the, all other allies gain 10% turn meter. Your physical damage to all enemies. With a 55% chance to inflict offence down for three turns. Additionally gain taunt for two turns. And you may go on that or reduce it to three goes. And that's where we are. And... Do or die. If Scarif Rebel Pathfinder has any buffs when he's defeated, he is revived with. Um, I'm not going to say the numbers yet because we're going to throw it down to number seven. Again, it's not getting Omega. So if Scarif Rebel Pathfinder has any buffs when he's defeated, he is revived with 11% max health and 20% turn meter for each living Rebel ally. Whenever Scarif Rebel Pathfinder is defeated, all other allies gain speed up for two turns. Nice one. And what did that do to the ship? Oh, it looks like the total power's increased again. And the speed has increased as well. So there you go. So putting those bits on there. And obviously, then, not obviously, but I'm assuming that the Omegas will also then add something more to that. But, um,. Yeah, so Bistaz U-Wing is coming along nicely. Um, the pilots basically are holding back from me getting the crew powers up to six. But there you go, Bistaz U-Wing, seven-starred, Scarif Rebel Pathfinder up to gear level eight, and Bistan from where he was which was very low to gear level 9 level 85s I'm putting it back onto him he's too pretty not to have that hog the limelight check those eyebrows mate bye for now thank you for watching